Okay, hey guys. So I haven't officially started this vlog yet, mainly because I've been surrounded by people constantly and I haven't had time. Uh, right now I am sitting in my dad's car. He is, he had to go check in where we're at because he's like doing security for this church that he attends. Anyway, so he's doing, oh, he's walking back to the car now, so I don't have but a minute. Okay, I finished the Hunger Games audiobook on my drive here to my dad's. So that was good. It was pretty good. Seth also listened to it with me, so that was cute. And I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It was pretty good. I was not impressed. Well, I was I liked it, but it like I'm annoyed with the cliffhanger. And I am now 100 and or I'm like 200 something pages through Fangirl now. So I'm going to go. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys. <clears throat> wow, my voice is a it's a thing. So I haven't really talked to you guys much since I've been at my dad's. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've just been busy with Shmeri Reed, a fangirl. It was amazing, of course. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars again. It's the best. So that was a great time. So I finally finished that. I literally just sat there last night and read like 200 pages, like flat out, or I think like 188. But anyway. And then last night I also started Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian de Castell, which is the fourth book in the Great Coast series, and I already have like 10 tabs, and I have only read <laughs> uh, 61 pages, and I already have that many tabs, like, does that tell you anything? <laughs> I swear, I love these books so much, they're so amazing, they are just, ugh. I swear, everybody needs to read these. If you love fantasy, you will love this series. It's so good. It's got so much great humor. It's got so much great characters. I just love it so freaking much. So <clears throat> definitely check it out if you haven't. The first one is called The Traitor's Blade. So yeah. But anyway, it is um to kind of give you an estimate of what day it is. It is Tuesday. I don't know the actual date date, but it's Tuesday. And we are going home tomorrow, which is exciting. Uh, I do love coming to like see everybody, but I miss home. I'm very much a homebody. So I'm like, I miss my, my couch and my cat and my TV and my things and my Assassin's Creed and my, I miss my computer because my dad, he has to like call HP to like get my laptop fixed. So. That's kind of a nightmare. So anyway, now, since I've been on here for a minute, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. So, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. It is the 20th. It is Wednesday. Me and Seth are getting ready to leave my dad's and head on home. That fan fiction I was telling you guys about, I read the next in the series, which was just the same story from John's perspective. I loved it a whole lot. I just love how much John loves Sherlock. It's just like my favorite thing ever. I just love it so much and how like he just like he doesn't understand how other people don't love him because Sherlock is so amazing and I'm just like oh my god. It's so cute. I love it so much you guys. So that was a great fun time. So I was doing that for a while and then like I said I was just kind of hanging out with the fam because it was like our last full day. So we did that and then like, late that night, I want to say around, like, 9, 10-ish was when I was actually finally reading, and I read, like, 66 pages of Tyrant's Throne, so I am now on page, like, 127 of it. It's, I mean, these books are just really good. I just love Falcio and Kest and Brasse. I think they're all amazing. They're fantastic. Oh, and I watched a super cute movie last night, you guys. I watched this really cute, like, Korean drama movie, and it was gay, and it was called Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow, and it was just, it was, it was a really good time. It's free on the Tubi app, and there's a bunch of cool stuff on there, so I watched that last night while I ate some popcorn. Yeah, I didn't go to bed, I want to say, until, like, was it one thirty? Was it 2 a.m.? <laughs> we don't know. But, yeah, so Seth is back from the bathroom. I'm going to go so that I can finish up and we can get out of here. I will catch up with you guys later. Yo, party people. As you can see, yo girl made it home. So, <laughs> thank the Lord. 
you guys don't understand like i'm such a homebody so when i'm gone for a little bit i'm just like i really wish i was home <laughs> and now i'm home and look who here oh my god you guys okay so my altar was completely destroyed when i walked in the door because it was all on the floor because this little motherfucker decided to destroy it because he was angry that I wasn't here. Isn't that right? You have anything to say for yourself? Hmm? Anything to say? Anyway, so we've been loving since I got in, which was just a few minutes ago. And he's so excited and I'm home. He's so cute. Were you reading in the car? Fuck no, I wasn't. For some reason, I always think, oh yeah, I'm gonna get so much reading done in the car, and then I don't read in the car. So I suck. Basically. Um, I just could not. I read a fan fiction. <laughs> let's be real and let's be honest. I did read a fan fiction. I read this one and it was another bed sharing one because I am on that kick right now. It's a lot of fun. But it was a really good one. I enjoyed it. And basically John and Sherlock go away to a case in Scotland and they have to share a hotel room. And it's like two queen beds in the same room and it's after an event and so john can't go to sleep without help so he masturbates every night to go to sleep but he can't really do that with sherlock in the room or can he i totally just sold that to you didn't i anyway links will be down below you guys know that now i'm home i get to snuggle with my guy so excited anyway so yeah that's pretty much the plan to get the shit in here get the shit put up and then take a hot bath. So, it's a good plan. I'm excited. I'm going to go. I'll catch you guys up when I actually have a reading update besides fan fiction. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Hey. It's 1022. Do I have a reading update? Not really. I have a fan fiction update. I just read the funniest motherfucking fan fiction. It was so good. I'm still dying over it. This person captured Sherlock and John so well. And it's just so good. It was another bed sharing fit because I'm basically going through this like reckless of all these bed sharing fits because they're my absolute fave. I read this one the other day and it was so fucking good. And now I'm on like a kick of like just reading their bed sharing fix because they're just that good and I can't handle it. So Yeah. The re one I just read was called Adjacent, and basically they're in hotel rooms that are, like, connected. And they keep, like, coming up with funny excuses to, like, go into the other one's room for shit and, like, tell each other shit. So, oh, it is the, it is the actual best thing I've ever read. It's so good. <sighs> so, yeah, so that's what I do. I should write up the fic I've been, I was working on at my dad's because I was working on it. And I could, like, get on my desktop because now I'm home. And, like, write that up and then finish it and then post it and then be like. But I also feel like I'm so, t I'm too tired. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. I just don't want to do anything. I'm so tired, so. I think I might just not do anything. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.
hello so it is Thursday and I think it's like I'm the 21st and I am it's just about 1215 the cat is here I am doing my 24 hour readathon today oh thank god I need to go to the bathroom I was waiting for him to get up but I'm doing my 24 hour readathon today I started it at 11 so I have been reading for a little over an hour and I have been reading Tyrant's Throne I started this while I was at my dad's um but I just did me a little reading sprint and I am now on page 213 so I'm like that far through and yeah I hope to, I, I'll definitely finish this guy today. It's so good. I swear, I love these books so much. They're my fave. But I'm going to finish that today. And then I also have an audiobook on script I'm going to listen to. It's the If We Were Villains book that everybody has talked about. Because it sounds super fucking interesting to me. And I need an audiobook because I cannot just, like, physically read all day. Like, I'll die. Um, but I can listen to that audiobook while I'm, like coloring. I really want to color. I don't know. I've just been really in the mood to like fucking color the last few days. So I'm probably going to listen to the audiobook while I do that for a little bit. And then also like while I play Assassin's Creed or something, I can listen to the audiobook while I do that, which is great. So yeah, that's pretty much my plan. But yeah, like I said, I just read like 86 pages of this and I'm about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then after that, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of I don't know. <laughs> just kind of doing what I do. Um, I think after that I'll probably read some more of this for a little bit. And then after that I think it'll probably be about time for me to eat me some lunch. And then I'll probably do some audio booking. So. But anyways, I'm going to go. I'll update you guys later. Hello. So, it's just a little bit later than when I last updated you guys. It is now 1.37, and I have done quite a bit more reading. I am tapping this bitch up, as you can see. I'm, like, halfway through now. I am on page 307. So, I am making my way. I was only going to read till page 250, but then something happened, and then I was like, fuck me. And so then I just kept reading. And so then I got to page 307, and then I was like, okay, finally. I was like, okay, I'm going to put this down for a little bit now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm about to eat me some lunch, I think. Since it's almost like 2 in the afternoon, so I think I'm going to eat me some lunch, maybe watch a show. And then, and then I think I'm going to listen to that audiobook and call her for a little bit. Because I think that sounds like a good time. So, yeah. But I am... I'm loving this so much. I have so many feelings about these three characters. Like, these three men, like... Wow, I just love The Great Coats so much. This is like one of my all-time favorite series. I just, oh my god, I just, ugh, I never want it to be over, but like, it's gonna be over. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm curious, I'm about to look it up, but I'm like wondering if anybody's written fan fiction for it, because like, I have a theory. I have a motherfucking theory, and like, I can't tell you, but like, I just wonder if anybody else has come to the same conclusion because, yeah. So I'm about to look that up. I'm going to go and make me some lunch and watch a show and all that good junk. And I will catch you guys up later. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so it's 3.50. And I ate some lunch. Seth made me some grilled cheeses. And um, I am about to listen to my audiobook and do some coloring, but I have the most ridiculous amount of coloring books known to man, and I thought it would be, I'm trying to get the heating pad, okay, and I thought it would be fun to show you guys all the coloring books I have, so that's what we're gonna do, oh, and if you're wondering, like, yo, you, your last update was a while ago, what the fuck you been doing, um, so I watched my show, I ate my lunch, and then I read a couple of John Locke fics because on brand but like you guys if you thought that i could actually avoid fan fiction for a full 24 hours <laughs> you don't know me anyway so let's get into how many all the coloring books i have so the first one i have is the throne of glass coloring book 
I have the Mortal Instruments coloring book. I have the Lunar Chronicles coloring book. I have this random inspirational coloring book that's got a bunch of like quotes and random cool pictures. So like, like so. Uh, and then I have the Pusheen coloring book, which is like one of my favorite ones. And then I have the Harry Potter coloring book. I have the Supernatural coloring book. And I have the Harry Potter Magical Places and Characters coloring book. Now all I need is the Sherlock coloring book and <laughs> I'll have all my fandoms. So <laughs> that's fun. So yeah, that's that's how many coloring books I have. So I have all those to choose from. And then I have this big black bag right here and it's got my coloring junk in there. So I am about to sit here and listen to If We Were Villains on script and do some coloring. So yeah. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm not in the shot, it's because I want to show you guys my coloring page that I just finished. I listened to the first 12 chapters of If We Were Villains, so that's awesome. And then here is the page that I colored while I did it. It's a pusheen. And a dragon. I think it turned out pretty cute. So. And this is like the little force field. Little force field bubble that's around Pusheen. Protecting him from the fire. The fire breathing dragon. So. Yay. But yeah, so I did that. And now. It's like, I don't know, four-ish something. I don't even know, guys. Oh, it's almost five. It's like 4.53. <laughs> So, I'm about to go to, I'm going to go get my other candle out of my car. I'm going to take me a nice hot bath and continue to listen to If We Were Villains. It's real good so far. I am actually really enjoying it. I think it's going to be a great book. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we'll see. I might start dinner here in a little while, probably. So, later. Hey there. So, it's 6.37. And I listened to more of that audiobook while I was in the bath. It was a great time. I had a new candle. So, that was really nice. Now, Seth's in there taking a bath. But he needs to hurry up. I need to go to the bathroom. Anyway. But... I have been reading more of Tyrant Stone. I'm about to go make dinner, which is why I, you know, took a break. But I'm on chapter 54. I am on page 385, so I'm that far through now. So, and my book out app says I'll be finishing it in another 2 hours and 33 minutes. So, after dinner, I will probably sit down and just read the rest of it. And it's going to be a great time. But it's also pretty sad because something just happened and I kind of want to die because it's real unfair. <laughs> I'm just upset. Like, I don't seem upset because I'm laughing, but it's because, like, that's kind of what I do, like, when I get upset or stressed. It's something I picked up from Seth. He will laugh. And so now I do it and it's annoying. But, <gasps> like, but why? I, like, we went through four books for fucking this? I don't understand, and I'm just, I'm pretty fucking angry, like, and I'm hoping it's, like, a fake-out thing, and, but I don't know, I don't know, so that's pretty upsetting, and, yeah, basically a bunch of shit's going down right now, and I'm just, like, <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm about to go make me some I'm making fried chicken. I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. And uh, I'm probably going to make mashed potatoes because it sounds really good. So I need to get up and start peeling potatoes and doing the things and everything. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Hello. So it's like 2 a.m. 
But I wanted to update you guys because I did end up finishing Tyrant's Throne a little while ago, but I didn't update you right away because um, I was pretty fucking emotional after I finished it. Let's be real. Because this is a series that I've been reading for like over a year now. And I love it a whole hell of a lot. And I just wasn't prepared for all the feelings, or I don't know. Like, I was putting off- I put off that last book for so long, you guys, because I just- I was like, oh, I can't even deal. Which, I went ahead and read it now because at the beginning of this year I was told that he is writing another series revolving around the three main characters, who I adore with my entire heart. So I'm like, well. If we're getting another series with them, I guess I can go ahead and finish this one because... Plus, I also, a little while ago, brought, bought the first book in his other series, the Spellslinger one. So I will also have that to hold me over until we get more of my beautiful babies. Uh, but I just love Sebastian de Castell, like so much. I will read anything he fucking writes. It's just... Oh my god, it's so good, you guys. <sighs> Christ, I don't even know if I should have to say that because I just, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good. And also, it has completely confirmed a suspicion for me. I'm very, I have this theory that one of the main characters is in love with one of the other main characters. And you know what? I tried to find fan fiction for it. There is not one goddamn fan fiction out there at least in the internet world and I am so disappointed I'm like okay but why because it it's a thing that needs to exist so I'm over here like god damn it am I really gonna have to fucking write some fan fiction for it because otherwise it just doesn't look like there will be any to exist and guys, we just cannot have that. We can't. It's bad. It's terrible. So we'll see if I end up doing that. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. I'm gonna go now. Pray for me. That I don't fall asleep. Or send good vibes. I don't care. And I'll talk to you later. Hey. So it's been a minute since I updated. Um, last time I talked to you guys, it was like early in the morning, and I was doing my 24 hour thon, which is now over. It's about, it's almost four in the afternoon. Me and Seth went at like 12.30 to go see the How to Train Your Dragon 3. It was so good. I definitely cried. And also they played like this trailer before the movie, and it was like a dog's purpose. Oh man, it was it was a struggle bus to not like bawl my eyes out at that point. I was like, no, shut up. And I was just like, mm -mm. and then as soon as I got home, I was loving on my cat, which he's like right by me. So I love my baby so much. Anyway, but yeah, so I've just been having a wow, a realm of an audiobook. Uh, if we were villains, and I am now. Over halfway through, I'm probably, I'm like, I think I'm like chapter 41 out of 60, so I'm definitely getting through that. It's actually really good, really interesting. I really enjoy it. It's just, it's kind of got the same feel as like this movie I saw years ago, and it's also based on like the Shakespeare uh, stuff, but it's on just based on one of them, whereas this is based on like, they're like all, they're doing all of his works and they go to this elite school that's for actors that specifically want to do, want to do Shakespeare's works, and it's just, it's really interesting, but yeah, I'm enjoying that quite a bit, and I'm just, like, screaming the entire time, because I'm like, these two are fucking in love with each other, and they just won't fucking admit it to each other, and it's just making me mad, and I'm just screaming about it, so that's fun, that's basically all I'm doing. But, yeah, so I've been listening to that while I was playing, like, Assassin's Creed and stuff, and then, like, while I got, got ready this morning and everything. So, I've done that. So, I'll probably finish that today at some point. Um, I'll probably listen to more of it uh, later on. I'll probably go take a bath here in a little while and just lay back and listen to it and close my eyes. I'm, like, 
chapter 41 out of 60 of If We Were Villains, so I'll probably finish that tonight. And then I also, I started this, like, at 4 in the morning. I don't know. It was late. But I started Burn by PC and Kristen Cast, and I am 45 pages in. This is, like, my least favorite in the series. This is, because I... I've read like the first eight or nine and then after that I stopped um so I've been rereading them and I think this is like number eight but like this is my least favorite one of the series if you've read it you know why just so annoying <laughs> um but yeah so I'm gonna be but these are so quick to read and they're so addictive and stuff and I just I really like them uh but yeah so I'm gonna read I'll probably read this pretty quickly and I'll probably finish this today as well and then after that, I have no idea. I've almost read 50 books already this year, and I'm just like, February isn't even over yet. This is ridiculous. Even with the amount of fanfiction shit I've been doing, I've still almost finished, like, 50 books, so. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna, like, relax here in my recliner and watch some booktube videos and pray that this fucking headache as well because it's not fun so yeah that's my plan and i'll update you guys later on hello <sighs> hey so it is seven and basically what happened was the medicine i took for my headache kicked in <laughs> But it made me super drowsy, and I ended up kind of dozing off and on for a couple hours. Um, mainly I was awake watching YouTube, but I did doze off for a little bit. But I just finished. Burned. Uh, this is like the seventh book in the House of Night series, and I just finished it. So, I finished it so quick, because it's, like, one of the ones I remember the most of what happens in it and everything. Um, but yeah, it was, it was alright. It was interesting. I mainly, I'm, like, a big sucker for, like, the, uh, I can't tell you it's a spoiler. There's a plot line that really comes to a head in this one, and it's, like, that's one of my favorite plot lines of the entire series. It's just so good and interesting. It's kind of like Beauty and the Beast retelling a little bit. I'm just going to say that. Because if you read the series, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you have... We shall see. But I'm going to go... I don't know why I have to do that so many times. See you guys later. I have not done any reading since the last time we talked. I just gotta, I need to tell somebody. Okay, so it's 8.51. I just got done eating dinner, watching a show, and of course I scrolled to, through Twitter because that's what I do, but there are these two accounts, and it's basically someone's made an account for Dr. Watson and one for Sherlock Holmes, and straight up, they had, like, the John one was asking about anybody available for a day tonight, and of course Sherlock, like, <laughs> or like, no, he sent... It was a direct tweet to the Sherlock one, and it's like, hey, handsome, or whatever, and then he was asking him to go out with him, and it was just, and he was like, yeah, and like, he's like, good thing someone forced me to get a good night's sleep last night, and he's like, that's a good friend, you should hold on to him, and he's like, I intend to, and I am just dying over the flirting that was going on, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm living for this. It's like, the, oh, it's so good. I swear to God, I am, like, the most John Luck obsessed person to ever exist. But, yes, yeah, so that was a fun time. But, like I said, I just finished eating dinner and watching a show. And so now I think I'm going to go ahead and play my style savvy game. And hopefully finish listening to the If We Were Villains audiobook. And get that over with. And then, yeah. Then I'll have finished two books today, and I finished Tyrant's Throne last night, and yeah, I'm like doing very well with the reading, which I haven't read any fan fiction today, so like, you best believe 
That's what your girl's gonna do when she finishes her book. But more than likely, I'll have to first. Um, I would like to get my fan fiction up before I do that. So I don't know, we'll see. But like, oh my god. I just love Sherlock and John Watson so much. And I love John Locke. And I stand and I ship for forever. I will go fucking down. I would follow that ship off a fucking cliff. Okay, bye. Hi. So you remember how I said I was going to listen to my audiobook while I played my Styles Ava game? That didn't happen because my 3DS is dead. And I just was too lazy to plug it up. And also I don't like playing it when it's plugged up because the cord isn't long enough, basically. So I just need, need to plug it up so it can charge so next time I can do that. But I did finish my audiobook. I ended up playing a game on my phone while I listened to it. I played Scrabble, which it was my first time playing Scrabble, so that was interesting. Uh, but yeah, so I played Scrabble on my phone for quite a while while I just listened to the uh, audiobook. And it was a good time. And I finished it, and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. That book is so fucking good, but I am so angry about the fucking ending because it's an open-ended ending. And it makes me angry because, like, it get, like it gives you hope. But at the same time, like, couldn't we have just gotten, like, a little deleted scene or, I don't know, something? I'm just mad. And it doesn't look like the author is going to write another book to follow up. And I'm just like... But listen. So... Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty mad. Pretty mad about it. So... <sighs> Like, it was, it was a good book. I'm just mad. I'm just really angry. If you're wondering what time it is. It is 11.19. But yeah, so I finished that. So I finished two books today. I'm feeling very accomplished and everything. So I'm probably about to add up my pages and go put those in the spreadsheet. I need to plug up my phone. It has like 7%. So I need to plug that up, and then I need to figure out what what I want to do. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading vlog here. So, let me know what you guys read this week, what your favorite book was, if you've been reading fan fiction, have you guys been checking out my recs that I've been leaving in the descriptions? So let me all know all the things. And I will see you guys in next week's reading vlog. Bye!